Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these. They can be used as French bracelets, keychains, or bookmarks. This one is made out of rubber yarn, and this one is made out of macrame yarn. Now this, I actually don't have any, but um, it is not that um, it is not found much. I'm going to be showing you how to make it using embroidery yarn today. So let's get started. You'll be needing scissors and you will need two strands of three different colors. Today I'm going to be using more of a maroon color, black, and chocolate brown. So what I did was I cut want it to be quite long depending on the size or bracelet or whatever you're going to use it as it's going to be. So I'm going to hold the threads the way they have to be. So my first color is brown, then black, and then maroon. Now we're going to go backwards. So the first color I'm going to take is maroon, then black, and then brown. And I have my threads and I'm holding them in the position I need. So like I said, I'm going to start with the brown. And this is a bit tricky. So I'm going to take the brown and my next color is red or maroon. Sorry, black. So I'm just going to make a D around the black. Sorry if this is clear. Um, but I'm going to make a D. And I'm just going to take the brown and go under the black and pull. And I'm going to do another one around the same strand. So just like that. Now I'm going to do this to the maroon. So make the D go under and pull under the red maroon and pull. Now just let go of these three and take the other side. So now we have three here. Again, we're gonna take maroon. And on this side, the second strand is black. So I'm gonna make a D over here. I'm gonna go under the black and bring it through. Make a knot and do it one more time. Then I'm gonna take my maroon under that with using the brown. One more time. Just like that. And now we're gonna take the two browns and we're gonna use the one that's to your right. Make a D over the other brown that's on your left and not there. Do that one more time. So this is basically what we're gonna do every for each row. So the first color we have, we're going to make a D using that on the strand after that, and do that twice, making a knot around it. And then to the next one, and on the other side, repeat using the first thread over the first color, and then the second one, and then tie the two that come to the middle. So I will be back when I am done making this whole thing. So this is the finished product. I actually didn't finish it, but I'm going to stop here just to show you guys how to end it. So to end it, you could just put this in half like you normally would and tie another knot just like that. Or you could just take this end and loop it around, go in the 